as opposed to, you know, him feeling like he was being forced into this process and it didn't mean anything to him and he hated it. And, and so we made a transition um, from that experience of him really hating this, this and not wanting to do it to feeling uh, much better, feeling focused, feeling supported, um, uh, feeling as though he could do it. Um, and, and that was kind of, you know, what we came out on the other side with. I think he, you know, and I'll let him speak obviously to, to this, but, um, he, you know, performed beautifully and I think was calm during the actual event. He, he wasn't super stressed during the event. Again, I would attribute that to, you know, the, the practice that you did with him, um, and I, I feel like, you know, it couldn't have gone better than it did, honestly. That, it that's my... I don't know. It was beautiful. Talked about me, I think, if I remember correctly. <laughs> and I had chocolate. I remember that. Yes, I gave you chocolate. That's right. Chocolate does everything better, right? Chocolate yeah. makes the world go round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember you, at the beginning when you came to my house, I remember you were not smiling. You were kind of like fearful. And then I remember you like opening in a genuine smile. That's what I remember. Genuine yeah. smile. Yeah. I, I think what you're, what you're, I think one of the things that went really well was when you met him, you didn't launch. It wasn't about just teaching him Hebrew. It was more like figuring out who he was as a person and understanding where he was coming from and what type of uh, learner he was and what type of human he was and really coaching him through the process. So taking him from, you know, who are you, what works best for you to this is what we're going to do together. It's not me teaching. It's me and you working together. I'm a coach. I'm a friend. I'm a spiritual guide. And, um, you know, this is a, this is a team effort. And I think what went really well was sometimes he was down on himself and you could under, you could see it and then adjust based on how he, how he was. And sometimes he was feeling confident and sometimes he didn't do his work and you were very able to adapt. Really to important because what I look at this as a family event, you know, and this mother boat needs to move forward in such a way that no one is left behind because otherwise they kind of fall into the water. So that was important to me to have both of you talk to me and not only one person. Well, and it, and it was, it was helpful, honestly, to me to have Kira engaged in it because it, it, it is a family event. And, you know, I had, I had um, kind of taken the lead on this, but, but I really hoped that Kira would, would, you know, see her son going through this and be really moved through the process. I wanted her to, you know, just be a part of it, to see his progress, to see the hardship that he was going through for such an important event. And, and she was able to, you know, tangibly get involved um, and, and really stayed involved and was super supportive of Beck. And it was great. I, I loved it. I loved every moment of it. And I appreciated you as just as a family, really. I want to tell you this because sometimes parents don't hear it enough. You guys are so devoted and you're doing such a good job, each one in its own different way, you know, but sometimes you need two different people to achieve a task. It's not mm -hmm. one way, right? It's, it's, it's all of your inputs together. You know, all the pieces makes a whole. And, and, and each one of you is a piece and you made a whole. And the whole was, in particular, this time it was Beck's Bar Mitzvah. And so, so I thank you for making that such a special, special journey for him. Thank and you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.